Oh, you haven't been to a protest before? No, first time. What, what brings you here today? Um, my business has been closed for eight months of the year last year. We're closed every single time we go into a lockdown. Um, I'm supporting a young family. My husband and me do this full time. <sighs> right behind us at Flinders Street Station is where local business plan to protest this what was first called for a seven day lockdown now it's turned into two week lockdown that's hurting their businesses here in the melbourne cbd there is a large police presence let's go across and see what's happening we don't have money we don't have oh. Oh, <laughs> just before i get into today's report i need your help basically since i did my uncomfortable reporting telling the other side of the story between the conflict of Israel and Palestine I have received the most death threats I've ever gotten before some of them are confronting but Ezra says to me now whenever I go out on the street and report at any kind of public event I have to take security with me so if you want to help ensure that I can continue to come down to the street and cover the cost of my security head over to support Avi Dot com chip in that way I'll made here can have my back <laughs> and we can continue to do this great work support I've had enough I'm an entrepreneur I'm not an activist stop it we've seen numerous arrests already here at Flinders Street Station this remember is a protest organized by local business that are outraged by the what was first announced as a seven-day lockdown killing their business that's turned so suddenly into a two week lockdown and between you and me, no end in sight because uh, today they found a new strain that threatens business once again. I'm a sole trader, I'm not registered for GST, I don't have a commercial lease and I don't have employees and I have fallen short on every single government support package. You know, even just now a $500 federal support package I'm not eligible for. I live in regional, all my clients are in Melbourne, I still can't work. It's now almost 10 months of no income. I'm on my knees, I've taken money from my super, I'm getting no money or support from the government. We're renting at the moment, we've been given 60 days notice to vacate. The, the moratorium that they had on rental properties ended in March. So what that means is that they can kick tenants out, good tenants who are paying their rent, and they have no property inspections. So you can't find a house to rent, and yet they can kick you out. We run a hire company, and we're purely based on a gathering of people at events. We can't pivot, we can't go online, we can't Zoom parties. You know, they can gather in masses like this. It's no social distancing, but people can't go to a wedding where you know every single person that's attending, they're a guest list, you know, who's sitting on the table. You can track everybody who is there, but we have to be forced to close. They're picking and choosing who gets to operate. There are tradies right there on a job site. There's 50 to 100 of them, but we can't have parties, we can't have events because social gatherings aren't considered essential. 30 protesters here calling for an end to the lockdown that is crumbling their small businesses. Remember, this is a, a, not a freedom protest as we've traditionally seen. This has been organised by local small business, but it would seem the response is the same. They've smashed their businesses and now they're going to smash them physically. We are hurting. We're fucking dying at home. We are losing things. We can't pay bills. We can't do anything because we're losing money. What is it? Yeah, look at you. Over a little bit. Yes, look at you. They're off the pizza photos. They're off the pizza photos. They're off the pizza photos. What's a safety officer say? Is that for the... I'm not going to have okay. this conversation, Laura. I appreciate you've got a job to do. Yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. I just want to, I want to understand. Doesn't want to tell us what a safety officer is. None of us are saying don't lock us down or don't have some kind of response. We're just saying please consider the very real consequences for those of us in the community who cannot pay our bills right now. There's no support. Venue owners are struggling to make ends meet. You can't pay rent, you can't pay your overheads and people are demanding their money back. And what are you supposed to do? The Monday to Friday we, um, we provide a cafe for office workers and then on the weekends we're an events business. So uh, we lose everything every single time, you know, measures taken, you know, put in place by the government. So my, I'm here today because I have no faith left in this government to actually um, avoid further 
lockdowns and punishment to small businesses. In the space of a year and a half, we've been shut for almost a year, not being able to do what we love with no assistance, you know, like most people don't qualify for half the grants that the government released. So what are you supposed to do? Rely on Centrelink payments that come in six, eight months down the track? What do you do in the meantime? You need to put food on the table for your kids. And how are you doing that? Barely. I've spoken up in every avenue I could with my own audience. I've, you know, spoken to my local MPs and it's fallen on deaf ears. You know, a fourth lockdown has pushed me into absolute breaking point. And the issue I have is that because of all this going on, it shadows the very real consequences. And these are just regular people like you and me who can't pay our bills. At what cost? At what cost to people's livelihoods while they get to still go to work and put food on their tables and we can't? Intense, violent arrests, same arrests, same as we've seen throughout the year and a half of lockdowns. This is the fourth lockdown in Melbourne and the arrests haven't gotten any less violent. For again, these are uh, summary offences, so it would seem disproportionate to say the least. We just want our voices to be heard. We just want small businesses to be able to operate. We can do it safely. This isn't about conspiracies. This isn't about whether you're anti-vax or anything. It is purely about them not seeing small businesses struggle and being able to have our voices heard. Avia Mini in Melbourne, Australia for Rebel News. Remember, what you just saw was for your health. If you found that report important make sure to like comment and share because we know the mainstream media is not going to tell the other side of the story and then head over to your mini report.com and sign up right now because they are trying to censor us they are trying to stop you from being able to access the other side of the story at rebel news your mini report.com send me your details that way i can send you directly every single report